Hi, I'm Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter, Maine, and you are watching Garage Talk. We are in the generator room of the church camp in Holub. It is a facility that my dad donated to the church a few years ago. It's an ongoing project, but we've got a generator that needs to be serviced. It's a diesel. Every 200 hours, you're supposed to change the oil and the filters. And so we are going to do that today. So we've changed the oil in our generator, and if you look at a generator, everybody has one now, whether it's an outdoor one running on LP, or natural gas, or this one running on diesel, or maybe a small one that you use just to charge your camper with and it runs on gasoline. When we look at a generator, we don't think generator, we think power, handy power, power that'll turn on your lights and things like that. We look at things all the time that represent power, and the more power, obviously the harder it is to control it. Some things can't be controlled. We saw a moose. Good luck trying to control a moose. They got a mind all their own. And boy, they got power. They can go anywhere and do anything they want. But it doesn't do you any good. The power we're looking for is the power that can be controlled and a power that helps us. There are machines, vehicles. When we look at them, power is a conversation that we have every day, especially among guys. So, does that new Dodge you bought, does it have a Hemi? Or how much horsepower does it have? Or is my Ford stronger than your Chevrolet or vice versa? How about that four wheeler you bought? Is that a 650, 700, 1000? All of those represent are numbers that represent power. <laughs> one of us have power in us. And the greatest source of power comes from God himself, and it's in God's Word, your Bible, my Bible. Paul talks about the fact that, for I am not ashamed of the power of the gospel, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. And I've found in uh, these recordings that we do, uh, we want them to be funny, uh, we want them to be educational. This one's not funny. It is educational. It may be thought-provoking. It's not one that you're going to laugh at a great deal, but I hope it makes you think. And I've been thinking about power and the fact that Paul talked about not being ashamed of the gospel. <laughs> and I can remember things that I was ashamed of when I was young. I was ashamed of the 1960 Ford Falcon that I drove to high school. And I know I'm old, but in 1960, in high school, when I was going to school in the late 70s, it was a car over 15 years old, and it did not help me pick up girls, which I was very interested in high school. So I was ashamed of that car and, and embarrassed that my father made me drive it. But it was the car that Dad provided to me. Another one I was ashamed of that bothers me even more is I was ashamed of my dad. And I know, looking back on it, it seems strange, but when you're in high school, you want to be cool, you want to be hip, you want your parents to be up to speed, if you will. And Dad wore coveralls and work shoes and white socks and 
And I was just as happy not to be seen by him. But looking back, that's exactly what I wear now. Work shoes and white socks. And I am my dad. And I am embarrassed that I was ashamed of my dad in high school. And I think we can all look back and be reminded of some things. And the fact is also sad to say, as Christians, sometimes we're ashamed of the gospel. We're ashamed of the idea. And you can say, oh, no, Stan, I wouldn't be ashamed of the gospel. Well, how many times do you hesitate to share your faith with someone that you know that needs it? Why is that? Fact is, you're ashamed of it. You're afraid that they might reject you or look at you differently. But Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. And I have found that approaching 60 years old, I refuse to be ashamed of the gospel any longer. And I hope that doesn't offend you, and I hope that doesn't bother you, and I hope that doesn't mean that you'll stop watching Garage Talk. Because the greatest power in our life is a relationship with Jesus Christ and His Word. And I absolutely love it. And God forgive me for ever being ashamed of you. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, and a shout out to Gary and Linda Keffer down in Georgia. 52 years of marriage. And there's a guy out there preaching the gospel that's not ashamed.